In this video, we will demonstrate how to configure the FortiClient Cloud Fabric Connector on your FortiGate. In order to do this, we must ensure that the FortiGate and FortiClient Cloud accounts are registered under the same user's FortiCloud account. The first step in this process is to log into our FortiGate. Here we will go to the Security Fabric section and select Settings. Now on this page, let's scroll down to the EMS settings and click on the plus button, which will let us create a new EMS entry. Then select the EMS type as EMS Cloud and give it a name. Your email registered with your FortiCloud account can be seen here. Now let's click on Apply to save these settings. We can see that the connection status has unknown errors. So let's test the connectivity. Now it says that the authentication has failed, which means that we need to authenticate this connection. For this, let's go to FortiClient Cloud and log in. As soon as we log in, we see a window with the Fabric Device Authentication request. This was triggered by our previous step of checking the connectivity on the FortiGate, and it displays our FortiGate serial number and IP address. Let's authorize this. We can see more details and even authorize or deny a Fabric Device Authentication request from the Fabric Devices page under the Administration section. Here, we can see our FortiGate that we just authorized and other details of it. Back on the FortiGate, Let's test the connectivity again. This time, it says that the connection is successful. And if we go to the Fabric Connectors page, we can see that a FortiClient EMS Cloud Connector has automatically been created with the name that we had given in the earlier steps. Click on the new EMS Cloud Connector, and here, enter your EMS Cloud password. With this, we have successfully configured a FortiClient Cloud Connector on FortiGate. Thank you for watching. For more technical videos, visit video.fortinet.com.